So yesterday, the world was um, greeted with a very unfortunate news and greeted with a very uh, rather dark news. And this news came from the United States of America. Now, uh, for those of you who have not been following the news, uh, uh, two days ago, particularly on the 14th of um, July 2024, the world was shocked and stunned to see the near assassination attempt or the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. Now, this comes after he, uh, Donald Trump, was at a campaign rally in pennsylvania and the sad event uh, happened unknowingly but then thank god that uh, the bullet which pierced his um, one of his ears and also killed uh, one of uh, the rally attendees together with wounding others uh, we thank god that even after all this turmoil uh, we can say that the president of the united states of america is doing very well but unfortunately uh, there are some lives which has been lost including the life of the shooter but then here in africa we were also following the news because we are very keen supporters of donald trump and we believe that uh, his ideology and policies are something that we even share here in africa and when the news came we realized that world leaders and even presidents here in africa uh, everyone came out on social media and sent messages of strength to president donald j trump to be very i mean to be to stay very strong and to also uh not lose hope in this particular perilous time but then today the president of the republic of ghana nana adudan kwakufwada have also reacted to the news that is the assassination attempt of uh president President Donald J. Trump and he has sent a very strong message and a caution to the United States and the United States government to be very wary because uh, in terms of democracy, the United States of America is considered as the beacon of democracy. Now, he posted this a uh, few uh, hours ago on social media, on Twitter to be precise, and he posted a picture of himself together with uh, that of Donald Trump. And he posted, on behalf of the government and people of Ghana, I condemn in the strongest terms the attempted assassination of President Donald Trump. And he even tagged the U.S. Embassy. And uh, as you can see, this is something that uh, sent triggers across the whole world. Uh, I've seen world leaders across the globe everyone was reacting that the u.s who which claims to be the beacon of democracy have now fallen flat and they now ultimately uh, they are seeking violence instead of uh, i mean settling their scores and differences at the ballot now uh, a uh when, when, when we look beneath uh, this whole screenshot we realize that this screenshot also came with a message now this message apparently or uh, ultimately was directed to the united states government and it reads in part in quotes uh, on behalf of the government of ghana and the people of ghana i condemn uh, in the strongest terms the attempted assassination of president donald trump such acts of uh, political motivated violence have no place in our world and undermine the principles of democracy and peace uh and, and peace and peace that we all hold uh dear we send our heartfelt best wishes to the president uh, to president trump and america people during this difficult time and we pray for his swift and complete recovery and this uh, came from the president of the uh of ghana too uh, the former president of the United States of America, uh, Donald J. Trump. So currently, that is what is really happening. And I can see that a lot of people are not really happy. Now, for those of you uh, who are watching the, this news, and I mean, based in the U.S. and even in Europe, uh, if you want to know what Africans think of Donald Trump or how Africans see the whole U.S. politics in terms of the Democrat, the Democrat Party, the Republican Party, uh, speaking um as an african journalist who is working with one, one of the biggest news organizations here in ghana africa i can tell you for a fact that many people in africa uh, really are in line with donald j trump now it's mainly because of his principles and also uh, the way he frames himself as a conservative person talking about the values of christianity and and, and and that so and even the muslims to you know many of uh, trump's beliefs and trans policies they kind of align with the muslims here in africa so most people really support donald j trump and honestly in terms of uh policy and everything even how popular joe biden is in africa joe biden is not really really popular in africa yeah so for those of you who want to know uh, what is really going on even how we consume the news here in africa i can tell you joe biden is not really popular we know him to be the u.s president and honestly his all his gaffes uh all his gaffes and uh, also some of the mistakes and uh, you know strange things he's been doing on stage 
not 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 his fault though but because of old age i mean africans have been seeing it and we know that uh we believe that maybe uh, biden needs some rest you know that is what many people many africans believe but in terms of uh donald j trump is very popular i mean i have people here who watch his rally each and every time on fox news and also uh news nation and the others and if you can go on youtube to to to, to search his uh his daily campaign messages and stuff so that is a very unfortunate thing but we thank god that um trump for some miracle or for some unforeseen circumstances survived this i mean heinous attack which perhaps was just an inch away of taking uh inch away from taking his life and we just thank god so that is exactly what is really going on but then also one thing that we must notice that in terms of this whole a uh, news issue many believe that uh this whole issue uh in 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 in, in terms of the this whole issue in terms of uh, Trump's uh, fault assassination attempt, many people believe that more should be done. I mean, more should be done to 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 stop this kind of violence in the United States of America, especially against political opponents. And uh, many people are questioned because the United States of America is uh, is considered to be the beacon of democracy. But now, the actions and inactions. Uh, shows that it is not so but then also we are also uh, very much worried that this is an action of an individual and it doesn't represent the whole uh, almost 400 million plus americans and uh, definitely november 5th or 6th i don't know when the dates of the american election is i believe that they will ultimately settle their differences at the ballot boxes but then once again we thank god that trump is alive trump is well and then uh, we are also grateful that at the end of the day um, everything went on successfully now even though uh, some lives were reportedly lost in all of this. I mean, uh, there were some people or there were some innocent bystanders. And I'm learning that one uh, former uh, firefighter who also lost his life. Uh, a very sad, 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 sad turn of events. All of these things shouldn't have even happened in the first place. But then it happened and then um, ultimately the statement that came from the wife was that the, the husband died protecting them. Because when the bullets started ring, rang, uh, I mean, uh, flowing and also i mean uh, sp i mean he sp sprang out like that he covered himself uh he used his body as a shield on his family and he got hit in the head and he died instantly so it's a very sad issue but ultimately i believe that uh, we are all watching this and also uh greater sympathies to the family of the bereaved and even we are wishing those who suffered from this mis misfortune um a speedy recovery and then we just hope that at the end of the day, whilst the RNC is having, uh, the Republican uh, Party is having their convention, we just hope that everything will go on well. And we just hope that we, we, we don't hear of any uh, I mean, such cases again. We'll be giving you more updates as all of these various events unfold.